Subject to over two hours of questioning from MPs over the Schofield affair, Dame Carolyn McCall said she welcomed the opportunity to set out some of the facts. Here's everything you need to know. As for what went on between Philip Schofield and a younger junior employee, she said that while there were horrible rumours circulating, crucially, there was no actual evidence. Their logs showing they had 12 conversations with the pair. Someone with that kind of different dynamic in power, that was inappropriate. And I think we would have, if we had had any evidence or knowledge of that, if Philip had said that to us, we would have acted swiftly in that we would have investigated and we would have taken action. As for claims of a toxic working environment on this morning, Dame Carolyn stressed every effort was made to steer staff towards whistleblowing numbers should they want to speak out. Something which the SNP's John Nicholson challenged her over, claiming that dozens of people had come forward to tell him of their bad experiences that they'd had working for the channel. It's a terrible place to work. Daytime in particular is absolutely toxic. Here's how it works. If someone complains about bullying or sexual impropriety, ITV pretends to investigate. As for claims the runner in question was paid off and subject to an NDA silencing him from speaking out, they said this. I wouldn't characterise it as a payoff. His role was made redundant um, and, and he... Did he stop? After lockdown. Is that normal to give normal payoffs to folk who are non-staff? It's normal at ITV. It was an absolutely standard um, process. It was a redundancy. It was a redundancy Because his role situation. was redundant post-Covid. And then there was tower block Tracy, a claim made by Nicholson that viewers on occasion had been referred to in that way in this morning production meetings. What? Sorry. Tower block Tracy's. I've never heard that phrase. I have no. never heard that. A number of people have told me that. I've never heard that. Could Dame Carolyn's shock at that claim be indicative of the fact that while she's across policy on a corporate level, management are unlikely to be aware of what's said further down the food chain? Was ITV aware of what was really happening behind the scenes? Or is there a disconnect between management and those who work for them? All eyes will be on ITV's independent investigation to try to shed some light.